Bob enjoys the boxes. Yes, you do. Sorry to wake you up. You can go back to where you were. Are you enjoying the sun, Fifi? You want to come uh, supervise me today? Grumpy ran off into the woods, but you've all got full stomachs and you all ate together this morning. Take a look at this photo. Although that's from last night, but I did it again this morning. <laughs> Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday. It is sunny, uh, I don't know, probably high 40s, low 50s, uh, still windy, yep, let's see, yeah, the cats are eating together. <laughs> After a few weeks of feeding uh, Bob and Grumpy on uh, one side of the door, usually at least once a day, but typically twice, I feed them twice a day. Uh, in the morning, after my coffee, they gotta wait. <laughs> And then around dark, or when, uh, well, that depends on when Grumpy shows up. So, um, so yeah, I've been feeding them that, that wet food that you guys gave me, and it seems to be working. So I think uh, um, what I'm doing now is, well, if, especially in the morning making them wait, well, they're all really hungry, so I put the three bowls out there. I get them prepared ahead of time, either Grumpy, uh, Grumpy's usually in my room, and Bob is uh, usually coming in from outside, but I usually catch them. And so yeah, they're eating together. And see, this is one of my rules, is don't try to explain stuff early in the morning. Show it, don't, you know, talk about it. So yeah, you saw the picture at least. All right, busy day. That tool cabinet thing, which fits in my truck, but it kind of takes up too much space when I'm hauling, you know, cattle panels around. Uh, I gotta move that. I'm just gonna drag it uh, over by the mobile home. Alright, that was quick and easy. I just moved it. Oh, that little metal thing I use is my uh, sawhorse. But, yeah, moved it. Something else that's not where it needs to go, but good enough for now. And then I'll throw some rocks on there. I think I can find a few rocks around here. Bob doesn't mind being inside on days like this, do you, Bob? There's all kinds of boxes around here for you to for you to nap in. Although I found out, oh, I haven't told you guys. I need to catch it on film. Yesterday. I found out how Bob is, is gaining weight because I only feed him twice a day and it's not that much. But uh, yesterday I walked inside, Bob was inside, and his rear end was sticking outside of the cat food bag, wasn't it Bob? You were head first down into that cat food bag. That's how you're getting all the food and that's why you like hanging out inside all day. I'm on to you Bob. I'm on to you. I should be taking a nap. Well, I'd rather be taking a nap. I'll just say that. I'd rather be taking a nap. But I want to get started on this today. So here we go. This is a good spot to take a break. Oh, perfect timing. My neighbor comes by and sees me working. <laughs> That's always a bonus. Um, you know, I ideally, see one of my pet peeves is moving stuff twice. And I'm going to have to move this stuff twice. 
But uh, the reason why I hadn't worked on this before was I, I was think ideally is I would, uh, you know, pull that out of there and put it straight onto a trailer or a truck or whatever, and then haul it off to the uh, scrap yard, which is about an hour away. But yeah, it didn't happen, and now it's got to be done. So I'm doing it. I'm gonna pile it up out there by the burn burn barrel, and I won't get this all done today. I've probably only got a few more trips in me, so. Uh, but yeah, time to take a break, go sit down, have some water, and relax for a few minutes, then come back at it. I think that's about all I can do. I maybe could have hauled more of those today, but they're all stuck. I mean, look at look at the size of this this boulder there. Yeah, I ain't moving that thing. And there's a another big boulder there, and there's another big one on top. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get that out of there. Wow. Um. So, well, I mean, it. Uh, you can still cut the trees down around it, and then after the trees are down, maybe he can, we can uh, tie some of this up and pull it out with his bulldozer if he'll, if he'll help me out with that. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna call this done because it's uh, it's stuck and I can't get it out. All right, let's go look at the pile, and yeah, that's where I'm putting it. I'm um, over here by the chicken coops and stuff and so I got a nice little pile started that might be oh I don't know three or four bucks worth of uh, scrap metal that'll pay for a little bit of the gas to the scrap yard <laughs> the whole thing might might you know whole thing might be worth I don't know 15 bucks and that, that'd pay for the gas at least yeah I'll be uh, I don't know, I'd rather throw this all on a trailer because as you can see that will take more than one truckload unless you flatten it out somehow and I don't know, I'm just getting it done. Oh yeah, all that wind yesterday? Well I woke up this morning and um, you know, we've got a little chicken chaos going on today. Another one over there too. Yeah, the well, see the brush and the leaves, and especially the limbs, they got uh, blown up against the fence, and the fence got blown over, so, yeah, they'll go back in here in a few minutes when I grab some, I'll grab some uh, scratch, and I'll throw it in the fence, and then I'll lift up the fence, and they'll go running back home. It's happened before, it'll happen again. And luckily... None of my three Wellsomer roosters got out because, you know, if they got out and met each other, that could be a bad fight. So yeah, they 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 don't uh, they don't leave their fences. So I lucked out there. Oh, uh, the ten ten uh, chickens now that I hatched, they've all been free ranging for a few days now. Well, not free ranging, they're staying inside their, this fenced in area. But uh, their coop is propped up, so they can get back into their little brooder, but uh, none of these bigger chickens can get into their brooder, so. They've got their own food and water, but they hang out where they want to hang out. They get chased, but that's gonna happen. There she is, my little bearded olivager. You're cute. Grumpy, you're showing up before dark. Good boy. Good boy, Grumpy. Yeah, it's not dinner time yet, though. 
It's not dinner time. You want to go take a nap on my bed until dinner? No? I know, I know, but you gotta wait. It's not even, it's probably, it's not even four, dude. Bob's inside there. You realize this? Yeah. Okay. I'll take you in my room and then, and then you can wait for dinner. Number two just laid an egg, didn't you? Yes, you did. Thank you. You don't care if it's cold outside. Oh, she's smaller than, than my babies are. Well, not my babies, but anyway. And now I'd like to give some shout outs today. Uh, the first one I already know right off the bat is Uncle Hoss. <laughs> Uncle Hoss. He has, he sent me, uh, right when I got here a year ago, sent me a bunch of seeds that I've grown um, and benefited from, the loofah gourds, which I'll be doing a video on those, assuming they're any good. Uh, but yeah, I harvested, I don't know, about 10 loofah gourds, and he sent me those seeds. He sent me the climbing hyacinth seeds, and I collected some of those from my neighbor. She wanted some. And he sent me some morning glory seeds. And he sent me a whole thing of different seeds. I don't even remember all the ones that I planted that he sent me. But yeah, Uncle Haas. Uh, see more, show more down below. You click that and the description gets bigger and you'll get to see all the stuff underneath it. Uh, next, I want to give a shout out to Homegrown Country Homestead. Homegrown Country Homestead. They are, uh, you know, they're homesteading. And they've been watching me and leaving comments for, you know, long before uh, I started getting, a, you know, more subscribers. So, yeah, go. Great family. Um, always got something going on. Uh, in fact, they're so busy, they are uh, cut down on their videos. But, hey, that's cool. They still got a lot of good content up from the past. So, homegrown country homestead. Uh, next, I'd like to give a shout out to Rick Mitchell. Rick Mitchell over in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, Ohio. Um, he has uh, chickens, backyard chickens, and they run a winery, I believe it's called. Uh, so, you know, I live in a dry county. Um, that's something I don't mention why it, it's not a... Uh, relevant all that much but yeah yell county is a dry county there are no alcohol sales whatsoever no bars no wine no beer nothing is sold in in yell county so yeah no zoning laws but <laughs> if i wanted a beer i'd have to drive for i don't even know how long probably an hour or something anyway rick mitchell uh next one another one from ohio northern ohio homestead Linda Riley. Did I get that right? Yes. Northern Ohio Homestead Linda Riley. Uh, she's been coming, commenting for months and months and months with lots of good ideas and following along. And so that's great. Uh, another Homestead channel over in Ohio. And I also want to give a shout out to J Dog's Place. J Dog's Place. He is uh, um, still dreaming and uh, looking forward to getting a property, I believe up in Northern uh, Arkansas and still, you know, fighting his way to that dream. So good luck to J Dog's place. So those are my shout outs and I hope you'll give some of them a try as they, you know, they go about reaching their dreams and giving it a try on YouTube. Thanks everybody, take her easy. Come on. I know, it's your turn. Come on, dude. Where's your 
Where's your brothers? Hey, brothers. Where'd you go? Hey, guys. Over here. Wrong fence. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm teasing you. My last chore for tonight will be, I've got these three water herbs and I'm going to fill those up and take them inside so that uh, in case it gets below freezing tonight, I can bring out fresh water first thing in the morning. And uh, same with the, those two waters, those are for the 18 chicks I got in the back room. So that will be my last task. Yeah, that'll work for me. This is what, day three, day four of me trying to feed them all at the same time? That'll work. And now now if I can keep Bob's head out of the cat food bag, he'll be hungrier and uh, more concentrated on eating than trying to chase Grumpy off. But I still got to keep my eye on them until they're done eating. Don't I, Bob? But... We'll get there. We'll get there.